Disgusting pack just leaked from NFL team owner secret meeting they held today, Trump's pissed. It's so hard to fathom the fact that an institution that used to embody all that is all America and Americans is now on a mission to commit collective suicide, but that's what they are clearly trying to do. It's now being reported that the NFL and its overpaid ball tossing employees had a secret meeting this past Tuesday to discuss the issues involving the national anthem protests. Apparently, from the information we have gathered, everyone at that meeting was okay with the fact that players kneeling is now the norm. Everyone except Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones that is. In fact, reports have stated that Jones was downright very vocal in his opposition to the anthem protests. Jones made it very clear during the meeting that he believes the language in the league's game day manual should be changed to stipulate punishments for any player who does not comply with standing for the playing of the national anthem. However, Jones did not stipulate that he wanted the matter brought up for debate and there was no discussion whatsoever of actually altering any NFL policies. No other owners supported Jones's stance during the meeting, and most of the time was spent discussing how to move from protest to progress, rather than focusing on the protests themselves. Unbelievable. But what is even more baffling is the fact that Jones didn't bother to raise any concerns about the league's ongoing efforts to support players and their communities since all owners seem supportive of the ongoing dialogue between the NFL and NFLPA on matters of social awareness, injustice, and racism. Do they even see the humor in the fact that a bunch of overpaid millionaires are discussing these topics? The Burning Platform reports. Fatherless families are number one problem in America, not racism. Talk show host, attorney, and best-selling author Larry Elder said the breakdown of the family, fatherless families, is the number one problem in America, not racism or discrimination or bad cops. He added that when it comes to murder, nearly half of the homicides each year are black-on-black -black killings. Commenting on the Rubin Report Larry Elder said there's a liberal agenda at work and the goal is to tell black people that we're victims, that discrimination, racism remain major problems in America when, in fact, they don't. And they want black people to vote for the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party gets 95% of the black vote, and the reason they get it is blacks are convinced that the number one issue facing the country is social justice, racist white cops, discrimination systemic racism, microaggression, whatever new word they come up with, and it's a bunch of nonsense," he said. The number one problem domestically facing this country is the breakdown of the family, said Elder. And President Obama said it, I didn't. A kid raised without a dad is five times more likely to be poor and commit crimes, nine times more likely to drop out of school, and twenty times more likely to end up in jail. So you're far more likely to end up in jail without having a dad, than you were because of a white racist cop," said Elder. When host Dave Rubin brought up the issue of systemic discrimination against blacks, Elder repeatedly asked him to provide a specific example. Give me the most blatant racist example you can come up with right now, he said. Rubin then said, I think you could probably find evidence that, in general, cops are more willing to shoot if the perpetrator is black than white. Elder said, what's your data, what's your basis for saying that? I'm talking about what the facts are. 965 people were shot by cops last year and killed. 4% of them were white cops shooting unarmed blacks. In Chicago, in 2011, 21 people were shot and killed by cops. In 2015, there were seven. In Chicago, which is a third black, a third white, a third Hispanic, 70% of the homicides are black on black, about 40 per month, almost 50 per year, last year in Chicago and 75% of them are unsolved, he said. Where is Black Lives Matter on that? The idea that a racist white cop shooting unarmed black people is a peril to black people is BS, said Elder. It's complete and total BS. And the reason for these so-called activists saying this is the assumption that racism remains a major problem in America, and the media, CNN and especially MSNBC, runs down whenever a black cop shoots somebody, and it's, then, some march in Washington.
It's ridiculous. Half the homicides in this country are committed by and against black people, said Elgar. Last year there were 14,000 homicides, not talking about suicides, I'm talking about homicides, half of them were black, and 96% of them were black on black of that 7,000. Where's the Black Lives Matter on that? Do these efforts the NFL and players are trying to forward include getting young black men to stop killing each other? Do these efforts include getting young black men to stick around when they father a child? Please share if you will continue to boycott the NFL. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.